The sister island rock iguana is endemic and the green iguana is invasive. The green iguana came from the rainforests of Central and South America and were introduced to the islands when they were brought here as pets or hitched rides on cargo ships. Sister island rock iguanas live in rocky shrubland nesting in natural rock holes or in sand. Green iguanas are arboreal, meaning that they live predominantly in trees. They use their sharp talons to climb and can camouflage green against green. The green iguana is usually more colorful than the rock iguana, showing colors between green, orange and gray. But sometimes when they're cold, they change to darker colors to absorb more heat. This is when they could be mistaken for sister island rock iguanas. Also notice the green iguana has a large cheek scale and the rock iguana doesn't. The green iguana's spines are long and untidy and the rock iguanas are short and even. The green iguana also has a spiny dewlap, whereas the rock iguana's dewlap is smooth. The rock iguana is important for the island's natural environment because they eat native plants like this manchineel and disperse the seeds in their waste. But the green iguana also eats a wide variety of native plants, including what the rock iguana would eat. That means that there is less for the rock iguana. Green iguanas also like to nest in sand, competing for rock iguana space and sometimes even stealing nests. Scientists say increasing numbers of green iguanas in Cayman is having a negative impact on native species. So next time you see a big iguana, take a very close look. I'm Jessica Harvey for the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation.